This is Michael Oral of MobileBurn.com, and I have with me the Sony Ericsson C905 CyberShot, a new phone for AT&T, 8.1 megapixel camera, autofocus lens, and a Xenon flash. You can see it's a slider device. Fairly simple keypad, no individual keys, but the keys do offer very nice feel, good tactile feedback. Up top here, we have the control cluster, clear key, shortcut key, call send and end, two soft keys that match up to the functions on the bottom of the QVGA resolution display. Fairly traditional D-pad, square with a center select button. Up top there are two additional keys. This one brings up photos, so you can quickly get to your photos. This one here brings up the photos in a thumbnail view. And you also notice that the themes support animated backgrounds, which is kind of cool. This is a dusk theme. Let's look at the rest of the hardware design. On the left edge here, we have a Sony Memory Stick Micro M2 card slot. It does not use micro SD cards like some of the newer phones. Fast port connector for USB connectivity and data. Active lens cover. When you slide that down, activates the camera automatically. You can see the Xenon flash, assist light, and a self-portrait mirror. Interesting design. This piece here at the bottom actually slides down to allow the top cover to move over top of it, which is pretty cool. On the right-hand edge, volume and zooming control. That's digital zoom, of course. Another button for getting to your photos, just like you would see on a dedicated digital camera. A button for switching between video and camera modes, and of course the dual stage shutter button. You can press it down a little bit to get focus, press it all the way to take the photo. The back of the slider, uh, fairly plain, just a nice brushed looking metal design. Take a quick look at the main menu. Access from the right soft key. This is the dusk theme, I think I mentioned that earlier. Cool animations, and watch when I move to the camera icon, it actually flashes. Pretty slick. Vibration feedback each time I move. Tabbed interface. You can see we can change themes here. There's only three pre installed. We'll go back to the default Cybershot theme. A little more colorful, AT&T colors. We've got the web browser pulled up on the device. You can see it supports landscape viewing, which is pretty nice. I'm going to go to the bookmarks. And choose the mobile burn bookmark that we recently added. Pull up the page on a 3G connection. And we're going to go to the full HTML version of the site and see how it does. And you can see that after some time, all we've got is a banner ad, so it's a little less impressive than we had hoped for. If we look through the main menu, you can see some of the other features in the device. Uh, AT&T navigation does have GPS, uh, also supports geotagging in your photos. Look through some of the applications. Plenty of AT&T stuff here, for those interested. Tools, all the normal organizer apps. Uh, you've got the DJ applications that Sony Ericsson always includes for editing photos, video, music clips for uh, ringtones, that kind of thing. Here are the rest of the organizer apps. Let's take a look at the uh, calendar just so you can see what it looks like. Attractive, fairly simple. FM radio, you know, number of cool functions in this device.